welcome to my channel welcome to angel love 333 i hope everyone is well healthy and safe we're going to do your love reading and as always this reading uh, may not resonate with every aries out there this will be for your sun your moon your rising and your venus signs if this reading does resonate with you there will be an extended reading link in the description box below uh, everything else is below as well. I just will mention that I do give away personal readings each month. Uh, to enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. And um, if you're already a subscriber, you just need to like and comment, okay? So let's get started uh, with your reading here, okay? So I pulled one Gaia Oracle. So this could be in any area of your life. It doesn't necessarily have to be in love, but if it does, uh, that is great. So you have your achievement. Keep focused on your dreams, right? So I feel here this is, you know, this can be about love, but I feel like this is in another area of your life. You may be very focused on business or your career, right, or your goals, you know, whatever that is for you. If you're going to school, right, um, if you're you know, working very hard, right? Or you're pursuing something new that you are very passionate about. So beautiful energy. It's also the energy of like you're blossoming too, which is really, really nice. Okay, so keep doing it. They're saying here your energy is really nice right now. Keep doing what you're doing, focusing on your dreams. So let's pull some tarot and get some more messages here. Okay, I'm going to pull two for your energy, two for your person, three for the mutual energy. I'll clarify the cards and then uh, we'll do the potential outcome in the situation. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Let's get two cards for Aries energy. Let's get two cards uh, for Aries person's energy. All right, and let's get three cards for the overall energy for Aries and their person. All right. Okay. So Aries, I'm already picking up here. I feel that this is somebody that you already know, but on the same token, there is... Um, there is that possibility there could be somebody new coming in as well. So let's go through the cards and we'll take it from there. So, so far we have strong Pisces energy here, and um, strong Gemini energy, and strong Capricorn, right? Even uh, Cancerian energy as well, okay? So in your energy, Pisces, I mean Pisces, Aries, you have the Devil card and you have the Two of Cups, okay? So this can be an energy where, you know, you're still feeling very attached to a particular person. This also can be, um, you know, you are obsessively thinking about a particular person, right? Uh, this also can be a very um, strong, passionate connection that you have with this person. You may be highly uh, attracted right to this person as well and you could it could even be just a capricorn as well but i do feel like there is something intense here right with you and somebody else okay uh very very intense energy and like i said you could be definitely thinking a lot about this person now you do have here in their energy the, the three of pentacles and you have the high priestess okay I get with your person here, okay, I'm just going to say, we're going to clarify that Three of Pentacles. I get two things. For some of you, this can be the energy your person is definitely listening to their intuition, whether they want to work on that connection, um, work on this connection with you, right? If they want to continue to build things together, right, to work together on the connection, but um, you do have the lover's card here. So what I want to also say here, if you have any intuition um, about or think that your person could be with somebody else too, I'm just going to say this could be, there could be some sort of secret here because you have the moon card here, which can talk about illusions, right? 
I feel like there could be some sort of secret here, but that's not going to be for all of you, right? I'm going to clarify that. Um, in your mutual energy, you do have the Ace of Swords, okay? So it does feel like there's going to be some communication, an energy of um, a breakthrough, a fresh start here okay, can be um, a victory in a situation. We'll clarify. You have the Lover's card as well. So no doubt with this Two of Cups and the Lovers, there is a very, very strong connection between you and your person but like i said i do feel like for some of you there could be somebody else that this person potentially okay could be involved with but we'll clarify that and then you have the eight of pentacles okay so this could be somebody that you work with this also can be your energy of just working hard right now like i said with that achievement card okay but with the three of the these cards okay I don't I feel an energy here that things are not over okay between you and this person I'm not really picking up new love in the situation so I want to clarify that um, high priestess energy thank you angels and spirit Pray. oh my gosh that just flew out there Okay, clarifying the High Priestess, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Temperance card, okay, and bottom of the deck here, you have the Nine of Wands, all right. Okay, if you suspect, right, that uh, there was somebody else, right? Or you, it happens to be that your person was already in a relationship or married, okay? I do feel like this can be that energy you may have felt, right? Um, you may have felt that this person was married, right? And, that, and things could have ended in that way. But I do see there was an ending between you and somebody here. It could be a Sagittarius right um it could very well be because this person didn't make a commitment or was not working towards a commitment or was very secretive right very secretive you know there could be other people around here right or this person may not have been ready okay now let's uh, clarify here i want to clarify that three of pentacles thank you angels and spirit for your guidance so with that high priestess here I feel this is somebody here um, maybe who wasn't ready for commitment, okay, whether they were in a relationship or not, and that's why uh, things could have ended, but I can tell you that this person's not doing too well by, with that Ten of Swords. Why is the Three of Pentacles here, please? Okay, you have the Fool card, you have the Six of Pentacles, look at that, bottom of the deck you have the Moon card, okay? So this person does have feelings for you from what I'm getting here with the moon card. Look at this. This is what's upcoming that you may not see. Yeah, the page of cups. Okay, somebody here I feel is going to reach out. This person's going to reach out to you. Yeah, the seven of wands as well. Okay, so this is somebody who I feel hasn't given up on the connection, who wants to defend the connection here. You have the full card and the six of pentacles. So this is somebody here, I feel that they want to work with you. They want to put in the effort. They want to take that risk, that leap of faith here towards a new beginning, okay? This could be somebody, you know, in the past who, maybe somebody who was a bit secretive or they didn't share their feelings or emotions with you, right? Because they're showing up here is the King of Cups. Uh, the King of Cups does not wear their heart on their sleeve, right? So sometimes... You know, this person may be somebody who, you know, could have been dating other people. Or maybe there was somebody else around. But that's not going to be everybody's story. All right. Let's uh, clarify this Ace of Swords. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Ace of Swords here, please? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay. You have the Star card and the Three of Cups. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Strength card. Can be dealing with a Leo. You also have here strong Aquarius energy. 
I feel this person is really gaining the strength, right, to come towards you. You have the Queen of Pentacles here, and you have the Magician. Oh, and you have the Justice here. So I feel this person wants to do the right thing, right? Uh, it definitely shows here there was a tower moment or this person is going to return unexpectedly. But I do get the energy that this person is trying to gain the cur courage, I, I feel, to have a very honest conversation with you, okay? Because you have the star card and the three of cups. That tells me that this person wants a fresh start. They really want to try and work on things um, heal the situation, whatever happened between the two of you, okay? Now, it can just be that this person wasn't opening up, and maybe they weren't ready for a commitment or the timing wasn't right. Uh, for others, I feel this, you know, there could actually have been another person involved in your situation. Let's clarify this lover's card. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the lover's card here, please? Okay, two of wands. Wow, three of wands. Let's get one more. Ooh, okay. Five of pentacles, bottom of the deck here. You have the nine of pentacles. Okay. So what I'm getting here, okay, it may be you, Aries, or your person. Somebody here I feel has options, and somebody here got left behind. And now somebody is making a decision, right, what path to take here, okay? What does the future look like? I feel it's your person because I do get the energy here that this is somebody who is definitely thinking about settling down right and i feel like in the past maybe this person was not ready but they probably didn't realize here with this lover's card what a strong connection they had with you or they they just you know they may not have valued you right and now they're seeing that for some of you this person could be at a distance from you as well right uh travel distance that's not going to be for all of you Let's clarify why the Eight of Pentacles is here, please. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here, please? You have the Ten of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. Let's get another one. King of Wands. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is somebody who's feeling a bit beat up here as the Nine of Wands, but this is us as somebody who doesn't give up. I'm going to say for some of you, you could work with this person, right, which may be making it a bit difficult, but for others, um, you know, that may not be everybody. This person is really struggling, right? They're struggling here, I feel, to take the lead, right, towards stability here, to make some sort of offer. I feel that struggle is coming to an end, and it may even be that you've got somebody here who works very hard, just as much, you know, just as hard as you work, Aries. So it can be too, maybe your person had some other struggles in life, right, that prevented them from making a commitment in the past, and that might be why the timing wasn't right. But that struggle's almost over here with the nine and the ten of wands, okay, because this person, I feel, is getting ready to take some sort of action, right? Let's see what the potential outcome is in the situation. And then I'm going to take it to the extended reading. In the extended, I'm going to look a little deeper. We're going to look at how your person is thinking or feeling about you, their upcoming actions, love messages, and guidance. Okay. If the energy doesn't look good, then I will also take a peek at new love. All right. I don't feel like this is new love. I feel this is somebody here that you already know right there's an opportunity for a new start between you and this person let's get the potential outcome in the situation between aries and their person okay oh eight of swords that's the card's been coming out a lot lately the star the nine of pentacles the hangman Okay, and bottom of the deck here, the Three of Cups. Okay. Okay. For some of you, if you are in a third party situation, your person is definitely feeling stuck. Okay. For others, you know, this just can um, be the energy. Like I said, your person's trying to gain the courage here 
right? I feel like they're trying to break free, right, of their fears, right? Whether it's fear of commitment or maybe they have fears about coming towards you. But I do see here with the star card, I do feel things look very hopeful in your situation. I do feel the two of you can heal things between each other. You also have strong Aquarius energy. You do have the nine of pentacles here. And you have the hangman, okay? It feels like um, it may take a little bit of time for your person, right, to see things clearly because they are in a stuck energy. So I feel like it could take a bit of time for your person to um, really make um, something committed or stable in your situation, okay? So... I feel Aries, there could be, you know, like I said, there's this uh, temperance card. There's something with patience and timing in your situation, right? So, um, but I do see here three of cups, okay? I do see an energy here of happiness, right? Coming together, union, celebration. But at the same token, if you, if you know that there is somebody else around your person, right? There's also that energy of a third party situation. So I'm going to take it to the extended Aries. I still feel like it looks hopeful for you, right? Um, so we're going to look at how your person uh, deeper, how they're thinking or feeling about you, their upcoming actions, love messages and guidance. And uh, if it doesn't look good, we'll look at new love as well. So I hope to see you at the extended Aries. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.